Direct. Kekerapan dia? Kekerapan uh, tadi kita uh, 550 liter. Baik. Per pump per year. Yeah. Tapi biasanya orang apply dua kali. <coughs> dua kali. 200 setengah dan ada 200 setengah macam tu. Terpulang kepada estate lah. Tapi biasanya dua kali. Kali, dia punya kos tinggi ke agak sebab you uh, Sebenarnya kamu ada banyak oil pump <laughs> dan ada Posting dia tak Posting dia tak tinggi sebab kita Yang paling penting sekali input dia lah Kalau kita pakai bahan buangan macam ni Dia, dia agak murah Murah, uh, murah. Tak, Apa tak. Trans, transportation fees uh, Transportation memang yang tu kena Kena, kena, kena spend lah Traktor biasanya dia dah uh, free dah ada Cuma dia kena ubah untuk jadikan tanker sistem tu je lah Untuk tank untuk simpan pomer tu Tapi compare dengan kalau kita pakai yang Contohnya lah EFB eh Bila kita bakar kita akan dapat abu tandan So abu tandan pun ada satu cara yang kita boleh uh, re uh, Recycle tapi yang tu agak mahal Sedikit daripada EFB sebab EFB ni kita punya input adalah ambil daripada kilang Tabur je So kos lagi rendah Pomer pun sama lepas kita rawat kita terus tabur Compare dengan kalau lepas ni you nak bakar dulu And then sebab dia dalam bentuk abu kan Kita kena letak abu kayu Kita kena packing dulu letak dia Yang tu Selagi kita punya input tu adalah free Dah pergi kilang Encik Syarin Misalnya um, Praktis ni kan Amalan uh, untuk Pome ni Sekarang ni setakat mana yang uh, Amalan ni dia jalankan Kan? Uh, there is an impact on skip on the environment, yeah, in terms of um, pollution, lah. The place run all going to the river, uh, into the your drains, okay, and then increase high BOD or that, kan? Yeah, that's why it's before Pome is released from the mill. They have to check all these POD level, what so, the PPM. So, that one yang ambil yang akhir, yang uh, is it yeah. at the end? So, what I put... Because I want I thought you you, you mix the, yeah, the canting, the canting at the top one and the sludge, kan? Mm-hmm. Tak. Yang tu dah. Huh? So, what part of the pomade do you take? Sorry? Which part of the pomade that you take? Uh, after being treated. After being treated, so yang, the the, yang, yang liquid saja ke? Ah, uh, liquid. Huh? Uh, not the canting, yang liquid. Yang liquid, so yang yang sludge ke bawah tu uh, tak diambil. Ibaran, hmm. ikan sludge tu juga akan dirawat, tapi takkan diambil, dia akan di dibuang, dibuang ke dalam. Uh, kita rawat tanah, kita cuma ambil cair dia, cair dia. Bawa ada pom cake, pom cake kita kita tak pakai, tak pakai lagi. Okay, okay. The pom cake is a sludge kan? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Oh, why why tak pakai lagi? When you di sludge, dia buang ya. Oh, dapat untuk nak cek ambil. Tapi buat pomer, pomer pom, pom, dia ada komersial pom, lah juga. Pomer, uh, walaupun kalau parameter di itu pun ada komersial. Because normally, TPMT uh, will come to Mr. Goli to check dia dia pomer. Dia ada beberapa few few ada parameter. To ensure that the thing is uh, in line with DOE uh, requirement. What about uh, sekarang ni with the issue of methane emission from lagoon treatment or that? So Sandabi punya plan sekarang, I'm not sure lah whether you are is that be that the kind of what is the future approach of this lagi I mean, they are looking into the closed system digester kan tank tank closed system for composting yeah. ada yang buat saya bulatan so cara nak letak tu kita pulang kepada dia mostly apply Mostly apply membaris memanjang hmm. Antara pump Pump dengan pump kan? So, aku rupi dia letak memanjang Haa, kita tak baris letak memanjang Tapi dia kena need a uh, Supervision lah kena kena Yang paling penting supervision lah Kalau tak, orang akan lombok satu point je And then, orang tak tabu Sebab, uh, dia tak macam tu je Lombok-lombok je tu Maksudnya, dia punya line EFB tu Dengan line yang buat drain uh, Apa, yang shred tadi tu semua tu Tak, yang ni kita buat dekat uh, mature kan Jadi, shred tu dah tak ada dah oh, Dah okay. dah kawat ni Nak tanya, uh, Andy Fish Branch uh, setiap bulan tambah ke? Uh, yes, uh, kalau ada, ada rate dia, saya rasa dua tahun sekali juga. Tapi untuk untuk dia hilang, eh, untuk 
betul-betul dia hilang dia habis setahun Dia masuk setahun baru baru AFB tu betul-betul Tapi application dua tahun sekali juga Dua tahun sekali Dua kali sekali Dua kali dua tahun Yang at dia tak ada bagi ada fungus effect untuk dia punya trunk sebab you larut the close with the trunk right tak ada you ada treat ada treatment apa treatment tak ada treatment tak ada. biasa follow activities tapi sampai sekarang saya dulu kat Pekra dan di Sandam ni sekarang tak pernah tengok ada fungus effect dekat UFB punya application okay. yang uh, ikat sekali uh, ini selalunya di um, letak EAP ni uh, just uh, any pump ke atau yang the older pump biasanya matured matured pump so 2 years one so maknanya 300 if you apply 300 kg per pump uh, EAP per pump per year 150 last tahun kita letak 2 kali 150 for the first 6 months and the next 6 months and another 150 Dua kali sahaja. Dua kali sahaja. Bukan hmm. dua tahun sahaja. Dua kali sahaja. Saya dapat operasi tadi dua. Dua kali sahaja. Lagi uh, nampak Andy Fush Prime itu, kita pernah teng tengok boleh shorter the flowering, flowering uh, time. Betul. Maksudnya dia guna empat tahun untuk uh, keluar buah dia pendekkan masa itu. Yang itu saya tak pasti. Macam mana? Memendekan dia punya produk Oh, itu masa dia uh, uh, Mulching tadi Oh, MD Food Brand Mulching uh, masa uh, apa, Replanting yeah. Immature Immature Okay, dia mix di Maturity period Dulu Kalau uh, dulu then, So that can be packed Ya dia uh, of course dia dry up to lower content ya. Yeah. So dia boleh uh, pack, dia boleh simpan, uh, dia tidak akan decompose ya yeah. sebab dia kering. And you can simpan lama ya. Yeah. And then when you apply, kita ya yeah, it's very light for transport. So kata one uh, truck dulu boleh carry only uh, what 3 ton ya yeah, ni kan. Eh uh, EFB but uh, ini you can uh, can apply for three times will be apa like uh, ya yeah? uh, berapa ek ek ya kan hektar so but with a uh, mat for three times you can apply lagi banyak ya yeah? less ya yeah. and it will add more uh, mungkin not so much for nutrient but mulching mulching yes yeah. so for mulching but also a bit of nutrient but matching and when dia uh, dia apa kena hujan dia over decompose just like so yeah. yeah. good afternoon i believe okay. the fellow student so i was understood that you are from the sustainable soil management course yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. so we have talked about the zero burning we have talked about efb and pom now we will look into another common practice. Now it's common in plantation. That is, there's a certain cover crop, right? That's covering the whole area, right? Okay, that's what we call the leguminous cover crop, right? Okay, and then the cover crop usually we establish by the time of the planting, lah, right? And there are some species of cover crop that is mukuna bradeta where area and other species like calopogium and cetrosema so mostly the common one is mukuna and where area lah. all right so in our estate uh, we plant both mukuna and where area lah. Uh, the characteristic of mukuna as a cover crop it is vigorous it is vigorous in growth okay and fixed atmospheric nitrogen, all right? Amphization, I believe you are familiar with that. Also, mukuna, it tolerate drought and shade condition. Shade is common. As the, as the palm get older, mukuna can somehow tolerate the shaded condition. And it can be propagated by seed of cutting 
and it can last until the pump reach the mature age, right? Okay. So for mukuna, we planted it about one four eight per hectare. Is the ratio of one to one with the pump. Okay. Uh, during the initial establishment, it is quite slow, but after that, it grows vigorously, lah. Right. And the other one is Pueraria. It's not shade tolerant as Mukuna. As Mukuna, however, it provides a quick ground cover. Uh, the rate is for 6 kg per hectare for flat and undulating and 3.5 kg on terrace area. Right. So what's the benefits of we plant this LCC, okay? Some of it, uh, it improves the soil structure and root development in the topsoil. Okay. It enhances the soil nitrogen reserve by nitrogen fixation and also efficient recycling of soil nutrient. Um, physically, it protects the soil from erosion because it covers the soil, it retains the soil from erosion. Uh, because of that, it also minimizes leaching losses of nutrients and reduce competition for noxious weeds. It's one of the main reasons we plant LCC to reduce the weeds since the LCC will cover the soil. Right. And also during replanting, it's also important to plant LCC to reduce the writer's attack. I believe, as explained by Mr. Helmi earlier, right? Because writers it lim limit the movement of the beetles since it require a clear area to fly. So I believe that's all for LCC. Do you have any question regarding this? How about the cost? Cost, eh? <laughs> yeah. Cost per hectare or cost per kilo? Seeds. Five years. 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 There will be a conference on um, sustainable, yeah, sustainable, uh, sustain sustainable, how do you call it, uh, management and contribution of agriculture to climate change. It's done uh, with them. Uh, but this is organized by NGO, Unstead and Search, and I uh, think First, second Tapi saya bawa tadi. Then I put that in like twice. It's more I think it's a sun drive and something personal. So I just put it in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kami dapat